we need to stop dating ugly men. We're feeding into their delusions. They think they can pull every one of us now. They are incorrect. We need to stop lowering. We. We need to stop dating. Hey, bro, when somebody take the words out your mouth, oh my god. When somebody take the words right from your mouth, listen, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad he said it. Because that's the first thing that went through my mind. Like, we? What is this we you talking about? Either than me. I might the be. I ain't going home. We're going to let me decide. Shit. No, no. I need to suck your finger or something. Yeah, go viral. Right, right. Uh, you put fingers, I put the whole hand in her mouth. Nah. No oh, that you know. fingers down there. I can't, I, I can't beat that. I nah. Be I might could be. I ain't going home. We're going to let me just. Hey, bro. Hold on, bro. She put her whole, she put her whole hand in her mouth, dog. She put her whole hand in her mouth. Bro. I don't know if that's that's a turn on or, or if I'm if I'm scared. You know what I'm saying? Like that's damn. You know what? I'm I might as well stop right there. Uh, shout out to you, young lady. You are very talented. You ever had beef with somebody? Oh, the hood storyteller. Reason, but y'all both was too committed to just stop. This is where my space was mad popping. My sister was beefing with somebody at the time, and she kept writing like shady statuses on my space. Fast forward, one day, me and my sister is walking home, and we walk past the girl I got the shady beef with, and she was with a bunch of her friends. And after I walked past her a little bit, like she was talking mad shit to me, and usually I would have just ignored it, but today I felt brave. So I looked <laughs> around like, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? I barely got the words to? out my mouth before sis was running down the block to meet me so at this point i'm like damn maybe i should have shut up and now she pressing me like what you said mind you i don't even have on a fighting outfit like after we started talking we realized that she was mad about a facebook status that my sister posted that wasn't even about her so then we end the conversation and she like oh an angel saved you tonight so i'm like ain't no angel saved me so i'm thinking i'm safe and i turn to walk away duh that bitch knocked me right in my shit we both holding each other like this she started backing me up into the wall right and the only thing that i could think in this moment is why is nobody bringing up the fight <laughs> I guess finally my sister says I'm in distress, so she come in and she break it up. The girlfriends run over to her like, yeah, you did your big one. And I just look down a block and just see a tumbleweed of my hair going up to 7th Ave. You ever had beef with somebody for... First off, I didn't know she was that old to know about the MySpace days. How many of y'all remember the MySpace days, bro? The MySpace days was popping. You remember when you had your own page and you used to design your page and you used to go find music and put on your page? Soon as somebody came to your page, your, your intro song played, bro. Then you had your top friends. Who remember your top friends, bro? Son, the MySpace days was popping, son. I didn't know she was that old. I literally thought she was younger than that, but all her stories sound like typical New York shit. <laughs> I thought y'all was going to do a part two because y'all... It's not as zip. Type of women to avoid in Atlanta. Let's get number one. And don't start getting all sentimental and soft on me because I used to be a stripper too. But these girls right here, they is about their money. Facts. They don't get your number, but they're not going to teach you till they go to work. Number two, hairdressers and last test. <laughs> messy as hell. They be at their shop talking about everybody. Everybody be talking about everybody. And they know everybody be. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know what she about to say, but look. If you're going to add hairdressers and last text, you got you got to add nurses, bro. You gotta add nurses. Nurses is, is is messy too. Number three, bartenders and bottle girls. If y'all not prepared to be an alcoholic, be drunk every single day and come to that club and spend money on that lick, ladies, ladies, long. Mm -hmm. Number four, homeless bitches. Now this really, <laughs> but whatever. 
Number five, homeless bitches. You gotta watch out for these type of bitches in Atlanta because they're real, real smooth and slick. You That's won't even know they homeless. They just sit there and uh, chilling at their friend house every day. Damn. Last but not least, get those girls with three or more kids. Nine times out of ten, they is out scouting. They are out trying to find help. They out every week. Half of the time, you don't even know these bitches got three or more kids. But you need to watch out for these bitches because they are real slick. It's your Atlanta hood tour guy. She's talking facts. I don't like strippers. I would never date a stripper. I personally feel as though if you dating a stripper, you either a pimp or a simp. You either pimp her, got her making fast money and coming back to pay you so you don't mind her rubbing up on strange men or getting touched up on strange men or exposing herself to strange men to get paid. You don't care because you pimp her. Or a simp. If you a simp, you care that she's doing all those things, but you don't have the balls to move on. You don't have the balls to let her go. You would put up with anything she does because you a sucker. I'm ready for this one. I'm ready. I'm ready for this one. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the game. Yeah, this is my favorite couple on the internet. You good? Yeah, we good. Uh, I'm not Sam. Right. Or Samson. Yeah, you're not Sam. You're not true. I know, baby. I got you. I got you. Excuse me, sir. Do you think you could spot me during my swap this time? I'm head and front shoulder, bitch. <laughs> Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hold on. Yo, my man said, unhand thy shoulder. First off, I know she, I know she finna go in his shit for calling her. But son turned into straight up Shakespeare. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Listen, you can't hear me like this. Listen, you not you. You not you. Remember? You a uh, Shaniqua or somebody. Remember? You just somebody. Damn. Sammy, you do that. My friends ain't going to hang with me no more. You can't drop me up like that. I'm not me. These new two, I just dropped this meat here, really. You already about to rip through it. You look scared though, baby. Bro. You feel a little aggressive out here. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Alright, you know what I'm saying? I does what I do when I can do it. When you know what I'm talking about? A little bit. It's Wednesday. Yeah, it's my favorite couple on the internet. I swear. You gotta be careful. I pray to God these type of challenges don't come across my wife's page because I'm a fail. I'm a fail. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a hypocrite because. I be wanting my wife to turn down disrespectfully. You feel me? And, and that's a bad thing because she shouldn't be turning down nobody disrespectfully because sometimes somebody's ego might get hurt and they might do something that they're going to regret. You feel me? But I be wanting her to be very, like, firm and, and, and let folks know, like, yo, nah, this is a no-fly zone. But when women be making passes at me, I be letting them down gently. And I feel as though the way I be letting them down, I don't think she would appreciate that. I can admit that. Keep it a thousand. A lot of you niggas will fail. If your girl had an undercover agent on her team that came at you, you might not cheat. But the way you let her down, you your girl might not like it. I know. I don't think the way, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you an example. I'm being long-winded right now, but I'm going to give you all an example. My wife came across a, a, a DM that I got from one of y'all. First off, y'all need to stop sending me uh, videos of y'all with y'all because this is no bueno. This, la this, this young lady sent me a DM of her uh, pleasuring herself. And... Bro, the craziest thing is the chick been sending me messages, right? And I just don't respond. It's a few. I ain't. It might sound like I'm feeling myself, but it's a few like motherfuckers that send me messages that I just don't respond to. But this one in particular, like, almost got me caught up. So shorty been sending me DMs, sending me DMs. I don't respond to them. My wife happened to have my phone, and I don't know how she went on Instagram, 
but she went on my D. She went in my DMs, and it was a video of Shorty killing her, going to town. You feel me? And she was like, "Oh, this what you got? People sending you?" I'm like, "What you talking about?" Crazy thing is, bro, Shorty sent me that like. Last July or last August, like she sent me that shit a long ass time ago, son. I didn't even see it. It was just in the unread, but I did not see it, son. I did not know I had that in my phone. So I really almost got caught up for something I didn't even know about. Yeah, bro. Now, personally, what I should have did was just blocked her. I should have just blocked her from the. From she been sending me messages forever. I should have just blocked her, but I don't know. Feel like that.